Furnace waves past the defender. He shoots. <laughs> goal! Oh, uh, goal! Oh, Ollie and Son, pass! Pass to me! That's it! Goal. <laughs> we have suspected naughtiness at Beano Town Park. I'm in the park now. Uh, out. Oh, where did they go? Aha! And it all hinges on this final penalty kick. He shoots! <laughs> Takes the ball! Oh no! <laughs> do What the dickens is going on, Slipper? Well, it's that Dennis, sir. That child, Dennis? All this is the work of a child? Well, he's no ordinary child, sir. Uh, run me ragged for years, he has. I think it's time you had some help to catch him. A splendid trainee of mine from police college. Smashing fellow. He's sharp, efficient and has legs like tree trunks. Sergeant Slipper, I think it's time I introduced you to Sergeant Boot. Come on, Nasher. Let's skate. Whoa! Wow! What was that? <laughs> Someone's taken the wheels off. <laughs> Who are you? Boot, Sergeant Boot. Oh, good. I think someone's stolen the wheels from a skateboard. I know, I did. Health and safety. Skateboards cause damage to public property. Now, empty your pockets. Oh dear, very dangerous. It's a yo yo, it's just a toy. <laughs> Yo-yos used irresponsibly also cause damage. Danger neutralised. Now, we must examine all your possessions for possible hazards. Good. That's all the dangerous stuff. Though, this dog is an Abyssinian tripound, is it not? Riddled with fleas they are. He'll have the whole town scratching. Better put him in quarantine, just to be safe. Put, 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 Wait! Come back! Nasher! What kept you? Nash is in trouble. We've got to help him. Boot confiscated our wheels. And the seats. And my little silver bell. Never mind that. Come on! Wait, Mr Ha Ha. Don't close up yet. We've got to mount a rescue operation to get Nasher back. No children allowed in joke shops. Order of me. Boot, where's my Nasher? Locked up, horrible flea bag. Don't you dare say that about Nasher. On your way, or I'll run you in for aggravated cheek. <laughs> Congratulations, Boot. All these fine arrests. Outstanding. No tennis, though. Only a matter of time, sir. As soon as he steps out of line, he's mine. Get out there, Slipper, and if you can't measure up to Boot, then that's what I'll be giving you. The Boot. Get it? Nah. The Boot Slipper. But I've already got Boots, sir. Out! Poor Nash is in a cage. And it sounds like Sergeant Slipper's boss wants to give his job to Boot. Well, I'll fix him. Look out! Shall I compare thee? Come on now, break it up. We're just reading poems. It's a front for mischief. From now on, no children will be allowed to congregate in groups larger than... one. What about chess club? <laughs> That's harmless enough, surely. Too dangerous? Well, we just sit on chairs. Chairs mean danger. What about drama club? Out of the question. And safety club? Far too dangerous. But it was Sergeant Slipper who set up the safety club. Well, I think it's safe to say Old Slipper will be looking for a new job now I've single-handedly cleaned up Beano Town. Now go. Trouble with Boot, Walter? Yes. He's a rotten spoil sport. Almost makes you miss Slipper, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Such a polite, charming man. OK, don't overdo it, Walter. But, yeah, Slipper's all right. And now Boot's after his job. Oh, my. Boot's in charge of Beano Town. Yeah, 
If only old Slipper could show him up, catch a few criminals of his own. Not very likely, though, is it? Maybe he could do with a little bit of help. What do you say? Well, just this once. Thanks for these, uh, walkie-talkies, Mr. Ha Ha. Fox One, you ready? Uh, Foxy Fox Man One, ready? Now remember, Pie Face, you're trying to get Sergeant Slipper to catch you. Gotcha. Oi, stop that! Now, uh, I'm fairly certain that's littering. Oh, my tail's fallen off. Right, you. You're... <laughs> oh. Fox One, did Slipper catch you? Uh, oh! Ow! Not exactly. Littering, eh? Naughty boy. Fox One, Fox One, hello. Fox Two, come in, you ready? Yeah, Fox Two ready. Hey, hey, hey what's this? Uh, vandalism, eh? Yep, on purpose. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm going to have to book you, Curly. Now then, uh, where's my notebook? Um... Sergeant? Nah, no excuses. Oh, ow! Did he get you? Not quite. Vandalise the mayor, will you? Into the van. Fox 3, come in. Yes, Fox 3. Oh, my. I hear footsteps. Sergeant Slipper's coming! <laughs> oh! Sergeant Boots! Oh, Walter. You're a long way from Safety Club, aren't you? A mess. But you still have Fox 4, don't you? Of course! Fox 4, go! Ow! Oh! Ooh. A rogue biker in the high street. All units to the high street, over. Aha! A proper arrest! <laughs> Arrest you in the name of the law. Oh, Sergeant Slipper. I've met me match. I'll come quietly. No, you don't, Slipper. He's mine. I suppose this is your doing. No, sir. I can explain, sir. I have subdued a dangerous rogue biker, sir. What's this? Oh, I was having some trouble controlling my mobility bike, you see. And a policeman was helping me. <laughs> and then this fool left on board. But, sir, she's a menace, a dangerous criminal. <laughs> she's only a little old lady. Indeed. Looks like you've been working too hard, Boot. Oh, here comes that nice policeman now. Such a kindly, polite gentleman. Uh, what happened to the rogue? Thanks for helping me, Grand Slipper. Yes, good lad, Slipper. My apologies, madam, uh, and to you, Dennis. Uh, I leapt to conclusions. Now, see the lady home, Slipper, while I have words with Boot about this great big hole in my police station. Catch you later, Fox Four. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two grinning at, eh? You look like best friends. Friends? Really? You'd hardly expect me to associate with a common lout like him, would you, Sergeant? And I definitely don't play with big wussies like him. No. No, of course you don't. <laughs> yeah, me too, pal. Good to have you back. I must admit, the place hasn't been quite the same without your hairy friend. <laughs> Although, he still hasn't learnt any manners. <laughs> everything back to normal, eh, Walter? Hmm, yes. Everything back to normal. <laughs> It 
might look like a pile of junk now, but it'll soon be the best BMX course ever! We'll build it right over there! Hang on, what's that? Party don't start till this afternoon. Eh? Whose party? Oh, Athena. I might have guessed. It's my summer party, Dennis. Didn't you get the invitation? Was it in a glittery pink envelope? Like, yes. Lavender scented. Nasher ate it. <sighs> Everyone got one. Uh, I thought it was junk mail. I dropped a pie on mine, and then Nasha ate it too. Well, you were all invited to come and see me mix with A-list supermodels and it girls. And DJ Crazy will be laying down some banging tunes. Yes, it's going to be the Beano Town event of the year. That's tough, because we're building a BMX Assault Course Challenge right here, right now. What? You can't! We can! No! I forbid it! You can't do BMXing near my party! Just you try and stop us! This means war, Dennis! to Athena's party? No a chance, Walter. Oh, phew. Thank goodness. I wouldn't want you lowering the tone. Oh, that hammering is so annoying! Oh, so lovely to be invited to a proper grown-up party. You're very early, Walter. I thought you might need some help to get the party going. <laughs> So, I bought you a CD of Mongolian throat singing. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Perfect. This'll drown out Dennis. What's that howling? Is someone hurt? Oh. It's not us, Den. What she makes of this. The Din Makers full blast all the way up to 11. <laughs> ha! You can't get rid of us that easily, Athena. <sighs> should be doing this, Athena. Health and safety, you know. Ugh. Who cares? I have a balloon crisis! Get blowing! Oh, wait you are. Oh, that fast 
type is scary. Oh, I need pie to calm me down. That's better. How long do we have to stay at this party, Keisha? Until the little hand points to the twelve, I think. We better be the only glamorous, good-looking people there. Oh, that must be it. Hello? Is this the party? Sorry, this is an exclusive event. <laughs> exclusive? That's my middle name. <laughs> This music! Shit boom crash car! You'll have to change it! And we'll need canopies! And some spectacular entertainment! I don't think so. What? Oh, nobody says no to us! We're a list! list. Like we care! <gasps> this is strictly for BMXs! <laughs> <laughs> Pay 
attention, class. Today we're visiting an important archaeological site where traces of the lost tribe of Beano Town have been found. How exciting! I could be descended from a mighty warrior! Mmm, lemon drops. <coughs> I don't know about a mighty warrior, Walter. <coughs> but those lemon drops are pretty fierce. My organic citrus fizzers are meant to be savoured, Dennis, not guzzled. <coughs> <gasps> it's awesome! It's tiny! <gasps> oh, boys, really? What's that dog doing here? Ah, oh, well, he's interested in bones, you see, and... Oh, never mind. We'll discuss it later. Uh, you were saying? Yes, this buckle is evidence that Beano Town was once home to a warrior tribe. Ancient heroes. Did someone say hero? The name's Montana Smith. I believe you're expecting me. Oh, Professor Smith! It's such an honor to meet you! I've read all your books! Oh, pleasure. Always glad to meet a lover of archaeology. Now, stand back, Walter. Uh, Professor Smith here is on, uh, he's on p police business. He's uh, helping track down the ancient scroll that was stolen from Beano Town Museum last week. Oh, I never realised archaeologists could be so handsome and rugged. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, come along, children. Uh, let's see what interesting artefacts we can find. More buckles? I don't think so. I bet we could find some real Warrior Tribe stuff. Come on! Nash! Wow! Looks like Nash is onto something. <laughs> Hang on, Nasher. We're not looking for bones. <laughs> And that's all there is to know about trowels, spades, and digging implements. Uh, uh terribly sorry about that. Um, uh, I seem to have lost Montana Smith. Um, did he come this way? <laughs> Nasha, stop! Wait for us! Oh, I see. What, what is going on? Come back here with that bone! Oh, leave this to me. I have a great deal of experience with this kind of thing. I've got to see this. It'll serve him right, running riot over such a sensitive site of historical importance. Can't you make him let go, then? I'm trying, but it's been a while since breakfast. Dennis! Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. Oh, come on, Nasha, let go. We've got to get out of here. We've given them the slip. Check this out. I knew it. It's not Walter. It's me. I'm descended from the ancient warrior tribe. Mmm, an ancient warrior pie. Oh, Mrs. Creature, I found them. <laughs> How do you boys find me? Uh, I mean, uh, get down here. It's not safe. I don't get it. What's he doing down here? He must have known about the trap door. Dude, look. The scroll from the museum. You stole it. You got it, kid. I knew about the trap door, all right. The scroll led me right to the pie button. You're not an archaeologist at all. 
Why'd you steal it? The treasure of the lost tribe. <laughs> it's gonna make me rich. Oh, a word of advice. Don't try to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure of the Lost Tribe. What's with the weird moves? Come on, we've got to stop him. We got to defend my ancestor's treasure. I just can't believe it, Professor Smith. I, I don't understand. I thought you. <laughs> 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 Must be hundreds of years old. God, no wonder they whiff. That's why Smith was doing those strange moves. That scroll tells him where the booby traps are, too. <laughs> no time to hang around, Walter. If we follow Smith, He'll lead us to the treasure of the lost tribe. Just get me down! Don't worry, that rope's so old it'll break any... <laughs> Moment! <sighs> Leave me alone! I'm fine! I'm just a bit dizzy, that's all. Thousand-year-old <laughs> 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 guns! <gasps> Jump for it! Wow, the treasure of the lost tribe. And that's gonna be King Dennis. Hey, you leave my ancestor stuff alone. Sorry, Sonny. I'm here for the treasure, and I'm not going to let a bunch of meddling kids stop me. Okay, boys, the game's over. Here, Walter, you got any of those lemon drops left? Yes. Why? Just give them to me. <laughs> Told you they were thieves. Oh, no, 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 no sign of them. Oh, but don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll track them down. <laughs> Dennis and his friends are always off somewhere getting up to mischief, but it's most unusual for Walter to disappear. Oh, I do hope he's all right. Hang on. I recognise this. So do I. It's awful, isn't it? Dennis, a descendant from a warrior tribe! It's part of the treasure of the lost tribe. Where did you find it? There's a cave full of the stuff, and he was going to run off with it. It was Montana who stole the ancient scroll from the museum. He was using it to find the treasure. No, not Montana Smith. I say, you're an absolute disgrace. The whole profession of archaeology is embarrassed. There's a turn up for the books. Oh, uh, right. Well, I had, uh, I'd better take you down the station, um, Montana. Well done, Dennis. That'll teach you to mess with the warrior tribes of Dennis. Dennis. 
He's good! Ah! Oh, I'll say! What a team! Look what you've done to our ball! Your ball? Look what you've done to our clothes! Yeah, well, whatever, Walter. <laughs> How dare he? I'll whatever him. Hand me the bumper book of rules, Bertie! Ah, <laughs> uh, uh -huh. as I thought. Uh, Mr. Balls, there's an emergency at the football field. Oi! What's this all about? Oh, I was having my lunch! Dennis is blatantly breaking the rules about playing football in the park. You called me down here for that? But it clearly states that when playing soccer in Beano Town Park, Rule 67A, dogs may not play in goal. It's the rules! Rules? This is my park and I make the rules! But... Uh... That, that, this grass is for playing football, so if you're not playing, get off! Well said, Parky! Maybe your lot should play a bit more sport instead of poking your noses into other people's business. I don't know, here come round. Well, I never! Walter, play footy! <laughs> That's a laugh! Oh, <laughs> yeah! It's not like you know anything about football! <laughs> I know plenty, actually! I could play if I wanted! Yeah, right! Course you could! <laughs> right! I will! In fact, my team will take on yours next Saturday! Right here! OK, you're on! Right! And the rules are... Uh, most runs wins. Goals is how it usually works, Walter. <laughs> uh, Walter, uh, we can't play football. I believe it's called soccer. And whatever it takes, we will win. First, we study the enemy. Uh, <laughs> awesome save, Nasha! OK, boys, let's take a break. So, what do you reckon, then? Walter's team will be a pushover, won't it? Should be, Curly. But you know Walter. He's always got some sneaky scheme up his sleeve. Well, I may not know much about soccer, but even I can see that Nash is good. What have you found out? Well, apparently, it is goals, not runs. And the chap who scores most of them is called a striker. So I suppose we need one of them. Anyone for one of Butch Butcher's veggie sausage bites? Don't worry, Dudley. I'll find us a striker. And you've just given me an idea how to solve the Nasher problem, too. <laughs> uh, what are we doing, Walter? I found our striker. The school new boy, David Peckham. Oh, hi, David. Ready for the trial? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's good enough for us. See you next Saturday. Uh-huh. Right, we've strengthened our attack. Now to weaken their defence. <laughs> All right, boys. Practice makes perfect. When you're ready. One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> What tricks Walter pulls, we can't lose! There you go, Walter. Five dozen super fat sausages, double cooked in fat. Thanks, Mr. Butcher. They look perfect. Uh, you've got enough there to feed a football team. Or at least a goalie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who, who did that? You were supposed to stop it! <laughs> That's right. Eat up, Nasha. <laughs>
Almost caught by slipper, eh, Nasha? <laughs> I guess you're just getting old. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. I'll always love you, whatever happens. <laughs> uh. Hi, Nasha. Ready for fun? Something's not right here. Still a few more days to the match. And by that time, Nasha will be the size of a rhino. <laughs> Face facts, Den. He's definitely slowed down. And it's not long to our match with Walter. Curly, we could beat Walter and his mates with our feet tied together. Yeah, but like you said, he might have something sneaky up his sleeve. Don't worry. Nasha's still got it, haven't you, boy? <laughs> Oh. Come on, old pal. Do your stuff. <laughs> oh, Den, this is bad. Hey, Walter, ready to give up yet? Give up? <laughs> I don't think so. Mind if I have a go? <laughs> Golly, is that a girl? <laughs> Pyface, you're right. This is bad. What is it, boy? Are you feeling ill? <laughs> hey, get off, Soppy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Worry, Nasha, it's not your fault. Everyone knows you're a sucker for sausages. You go ahead. You could do with some fresh air. I'll uh, <clears throat> catch up with you. One hundred and four percent fat. Bon appetit, Nasha. <laughs> no, Nasha, you can't. Be strong. <laughs> That's my boy. Now let's concentrate on getting you fit again. Sneaky. Poor old Nasha couldn't resist. But he's given them up and we've done some intensive training. Wah! So, he's back on form now. Hang on. That's a new kid, David Peckham. I told you Walter would do something sneaky. Ah, uh, Dennis, you've met our new striker, David Peckham. And how's your star goalkeeper? Fine, thanks. In fact, he's as fit as a butcher's sausage. Oh, uh, I mean dog. Oh, yes. Uh, of course. Well, why wouldn't he be? Huh. Still, I bet he's not fit enough for this. Uh. <laughs> Is that all your striker's got? You did it! <laughs> nice try, Walter. But nobody messes with our goalie. What? You knew? Of course I did. Nasha's my best friend. <laughs> 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 And 
now we go live to Beano Town Park Racecourse for the afternoon's racing. Hussy! Hussy! There! Yes, Bee, it's a horsey! <laughs> Why don't you go and play in the garden with your hobby horse? Dennis will help you. Dennis! <laughs> Hersley? And here's Dennis. One shot away from glory. What do you think of that, Bee? <laughs> and don't bring her back until you've made it up to her and she's calmed down. <laughs> Come on, Bee! I'm doing my best. Hello, Gran. What's all that crying about, then? I could hear you a mile away. I broke Bee's hobby horse, and I'm trying to find her a new one. Oh, well, that's all right, then, isn't it? Oh, what's all that fuss about, eh? Poor little Bee. Oh, she is in a mood. That's because nobody's got any hobby horses. We've been walking round the shops for hours. And Dad says I can't bring her back until she's calmed down. Dear me, you are in a pickle. What are you going to do? I don't know. Ah! Huh? Hang on. Uh, B, I've been thinking. Uh, riding hobby horses is really for little babies. Baby? Yes. And you're a big girl, aren't you? How would you like to ride on a real horse instead? Real horses? Gran, can you look after B? I've got a plan. Where horsey? Any minute now, love. Dennis is just bringing him. Why do we have to do this? Cos we're mates, Curly. And mates help each other out, right? <laughs> now, remember, you've got to convince her you're a real horse. So no talking or mucking about, OK? OK. <gasps> horsey! Horsey! That's right! Told you I'd get you one. Uh, nay! <laughs> B! No! Horsey! Eat! Joy! <laughs> hey, what you doing letting that child pull up all this grass, eh? And who said you could bring that animal in here? Come on, Parky! Anyone can see it's not a real one. Real horsey! All of you! Out of the park! <coughs> oh, this is a stupid idea, Dennis. What's in it for us, anyway? Come on, Curly. We're making Bee happy. What could be better than that? How about a pie? OK, let's just give her a ride and you can have any pie you want. OK? Now wait here while I go and get her. Oh, oh yum. Pieface, where are we going? OK. Angle of inclination, seven degrees. Wind speed, about three knots south southwesterly. Very good, Father. Stand aside, please. Uh, uh. 
Oh, Father, you must take more care. Horse with him, has he? Okay, I'll uh, I'll keep a sharp lookout. Oi! <laughs> right. before we get into any more trouble. Well, I'll see. <laughs> Hang on a minute, love. I'll just go and see. <laughs> oh, never mind, Dennis. You did your best. But what am I going to do about B? I still can't take her home. <gasps> B! Horses and riders allowed through this entrance. But my little sister's in there. You've got to let me through. You think I'm stupid or something? Now either show me your horse or I'm going to have a word with that policeman. OK, Gran. Let's get the horse. <laughs> So, here they are, under starter's orders for the final race of the day, the Beano Town Classic. And they're off with the favourite moving straight to the front, ridden by... Oh, 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 there seemed to be a change of ride at times. Heavens! I know jockeys are small, but that one's absolutely tiny. Ooh, can't be much bigger than B. <laughs> Wait a minute! That is B! And that's Dennis! Hang on, B! We're coming! Wheelie Grand! Now, there's something very strange going on here because I don't recognise that horse at all. And now there's a police car. What an extraordinary race this is! Faster Grand! And now there's a dog on the track. Yes! <laughs> And as they approach the final fence, their neck and neck is anybody's race. I'm here, <laughs> Faster, Grand! Side. At least B was happy, even if we did have to sell the car to pay for the damage. I don't know. I don't miss it that much. And think of the money we're saving by not having one. You all right in there, Dennis? Yes. And you, Gran? Yes. Jolly good. Off we go, then. Giddy up! Hey, <laughs> My laundry. 
laundry, not a tent. If you want to go camping, Dad will take you. Won't you, dear? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, oh. Yahoo! Nasha! We're going camping! Yes, yes. Fit. I used to be top scout in the Beano Town Wolfpack, you know. Yay! Camping is going to be so cool! So, what did you do in the Beano Town Wolfpack, Dad? It was brilliant, Dennis. Living outdoors, finding our own food, recognizing all the different plants and animals. <gasps> really? What's this called? Oh, well, that's a. Uh, uh, that, that, that's a rare specimen, actually. Uh, let, let me What's think. that tree called? Yeah. And that bird? What well, kind of grass is this? What's that, Dad? Stinging nettles? Funny, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Down to my bivouac. Your bivouac? A bivouac is a shelter made from branches, leaves, and moss. Oh, I thought it was just a funny looking tent. Tents are for softies. I made that myself. Name's Tough. Terry Tough. Well, it couldn't have been much good if it broke so easily. Bet my dad could build a better one. Oh, you think so? Yeah, he knows all about that outdoorsy stuff. He was top scout in the Beano Town Wolf Pack. Was he now? I suppose you're an expert at bivy building then. Absolutely. Possibly. Uh, I might have missed that meeting. But, Dad, I, I thought you said... But, yes, I do know a thing or two about the great outdoors. Go on, Dad, you tell him. Really? So, you wouldn't mind proving that then? <laughs> Not at all. This your tent? Yes, but I... Now, put it back up. I'll build a new bivouac. See who's quickest. <laughs> Looks like one nil to tough, Nasher. <laughs> now, let's see how good you are at fire lighting, eh? Oh. <laughs> it's hard work, this. Of course, you know how to make herbal tea. I think Dad might have been exaggerating the whole Top Scout thing. <coughs> Not at all. In fact, I'm just getting warmed up. What's next? Way to go, Dad. You tell him. What's next? Oh, I think I've got just the thing. Bring it on. That's Mount Beano. First one to the top and back is the best outdoorsman. Agreed? Agreed. And one other thing. The loser leaves the campsite and never comes back. Well, if that's how you want it, fine. Are you sure you need all this stuff, Dad? <sighs> A Beano Town wolf cub should be prepared for anything. <laughs> See you later. Don't get lost. Wow, he's fast. Dad, we'd better get moving if we want to keep up. Dad? Just checking the direction, Dennis. Now, was it the wet finger into the wind means north? Or... Let's just head for Mount Beano. Or was it see which way the grass blows and divide by the angle of the sun? I can't remember. 
Oh, well, uh, l let me think. That? Ah! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, 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 oh back off, Billy. Oh, ah, oh, oh. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Gives me an idea, though. I don't believe it. They're gaining on me. But if something was to slow them down, by accident, of course. Oh, I'm suddenly very tired. Must be the mountain air. Goodness, was that me? Oh. <laughs> it didn't look so high from down there. Come on, Dad. We're almost at the top. Just don't look down. You're right, Dennis. Don't look down. Mustn't look down. Oh, Dad! <laughs> By now. Get off! Looks like the outdoor life isn't for everyone. Help! Help! Uh, uh, uh. 